previously. This apron will take you straight to the semi-final. <laughs> A chocoholic challenge. Come on, guys, you got this. Eliminated Anthony. Dare I dare. And Cade. If you were a cook in my restaurant, you know where you'd be right now? Walking out the back door. But Mikey. It's divine. Struck gold. Oh my gosh. I am in the semi-final. Great job, Mikey. Yes! Tonight, the other six junior home cooks tackle their most intimidating challenge. Our VIP guests are arriving. MasterChef Junior alumni. 30 of them. They are the whole reason why I'm here right now. And with a place in the semifinal in sight, the pressure to impress. What's happened here? Shall I go and get the former contestants to cook for themselves? Whoa. We'll push some Olivia. to their breaking point. Uh, Look at me. Make eye contact. <laughs> Here I come. I can feel the wind in my hair, my hat about to blow off my head. I have no idea where we're going, but honestly, right now, I'm just enjoying the ride. Good morning. What took you so long? Uh, traffic. traffic. Let's go, guys. We ready? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. This is fancy. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Oh, now my this. God. Oh. Living in a big city like Chicago, I mean, we have the lake and green trees, but this is just breathtaking. Welcome. This is the site of today's MasterChef pop-up restaurant. Oh, oh my God. God. You talented six, awesome. we thought this one through very carefully, and we put you into two teams to set you guys up for success. Okay. That's right, guys. This afternoon, Olivia, Kwani, you'll be team captains. We want to see you both step up as a leader. So, on the red team, we have Kwani, joined by Benny and Avery. And of course, the blue team, captained by Olivia, joined by Evan and her big sister, Remy. This is going to be a teeny bit tough for me because when it's me and Olivia, I'm used to being the boss of everything. So I'm hoping I can back off and give Olivia a chance to take charge. Now, the guests coming today have incredible palates, and they know good food better than anyone. Because all of the guests today are MasterChef Junior alumni. I feel like I'm in a dream. I'll be cooking for the people that I've watched on TV so many times, and they've inspired me since I was little. <laughs> That's right, and not just one or two of them, 30 of them. Including oh every gosh. single winner of this incredible competition. Oh my, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And let's not forget about Mikey. Right now, he's on his way here in a limo, oh wearing his golden apron in the lap of luxury. He will be sitting at the winner's table. Oh Think about what? that advantage. Oh, this is fair. Now, are you ready to find out what's on the menu? Yes! yes. yes. All of you, follow me. Let's go. Right, listen very carefully. Today's dish is... Whoa. An incredible franzino. Underneath there, this incredible fricassee of beans, chorizo, clams and mussels, and so say polenta. See the franzino, we lightly score it. From there, we're gonna season the fish. What side do I put that down? Skin down. down. You guys are learning exactly that. In and lay away. I wanna hear that noise, okay? Right, next, we're going to start the garnish. First in, chorizo. Next goes in the beans. Tomatoes go in, and then watch. A touch of perno in. Oh, oh. What now, is it? And the seed liquor. Just be very careful with that, OK, guys? This challenge is definitely the hardest, because there is only one dish that we're making today, so every component of this has to be perfection. Next goes uh, shellfish. 
Shallots and garlic in. From there, white wine goes in. We've got to cook these very quick. My head is spinning right now because Gordon's like doing this, he's then doing that. Now, polenta, got a beautiful color on there. You turn them over. Everything combined, it's just really, really complex. And now for the plating. One, two, three spoons of garnish. Take your polenta. One, two, three. How many clams on each plate? Three. Three. How many mussels three. on each plate? Three. three. Good. Consistency is key. And then finally, a touch of saffron oil and a touch of your micro herbs. And that is it. Wow. Now, all of you, dig in. Oh, my God. Right, listen to this. Throughout lunch today, Christina, Joe, and myself will talk to all the guests. But ultimately, we will be deciding the winning team based on your performance. Are you ready to get started? Yes, yeah, chef! Your prep time starts now. Let's go. OK, guys. OK, guys. OK, guys, okay, guys come on. OK, so, so Avery, what would you rather do? Um, fish or veggies and polenta? Um, I'll do the fish. OK, so Avery is doing fish. I will do veggies and polenta. And Betty, you're doing clams and mussels. Out of the gate, I do not want to be too bossy, but I don't want to be too laid back. Benny, I want you on the right burner right there. Okay. Avery, I want you closer to the left burner. Got it. I want the red team to get along and communicate, have fun, and then we can definitely win together. Any questions? Nope. No, I think we're good. OK. OK, guys, I'm doing mussels and clams. And Evan, you're doing the vegetables and the polenta. Remy, you're on doing branzino. And before you put it on the pan, show it. So, no, no, mussels take, like, um, two, two minutes, minutes max. So yep. branzino is the first thing we start. And then vegetables, too. Vegetables will take, like, four minutes. But remember, polenta cakes. I cannot stress enough. Lights here. I'm so confused. Who is the team captain? Is it Remy or is it Olivia? You start that, like, one minute, guys. That, okay, because yeah. they work on this together. Okay? And remember, if you overcook them, they get rubbery, so you think completely on top of that. This is getting very frustrating. My sister was not assigned to be team captain. I was. I want Remy to put it. on the sauce, put on the grated sauce. And make, make, um, make, like, one extra polenta cake. So if you get an order of three, they're like, three, okay, make, like, 19 polenta cakes, okay? And then for the vegetables, oh, um, she needs to listen to the team captain, or else we'll be in trouble. Right, red team, blue team, listen up. Our VIP guests are arriving. Awesome! Let's go. Please welcome our five amazing Master Junior champions. Oh, my gosh. First up, season one champion, Alexander. Oh, my gosh! Oh, my goodness. Six foot four, married with four kids. Good to see you. <laughs> you? Good to see you. Good to see you. It's so cool that we get to see all these Masters at Junior alumni. From season two, Logan. <laughs> Hi, Chef. Good to see you, bud. I'm like a Masters at Junior junkie. From season three, Nathan. <laughs> From season four, Addison. <laughs> Addison inspired me to do this, and that's the whole reason why I'm here. And our reigning champion from season five, Jasmine. Oh, my gosh! These people have been in our shoes. They have competed in the challenges we're competing in today. And please welcome back your favorite MasterChef Junior contestants, Hi. Abby, Samuel, and Hi. Josh. Oh, my gosh! We have to bring them our best dishes because they're expecting a lot from us today. And Finally, of course, our first ever Master Junior Golden Apron recipient, Mikey! Mikey. Good luck! Cheers! It's pretty great to be back to see everybody, see all my friends from like a really long time ago. Ever since the show, I've been like cooking in restaurants, traveling, meeting chefs, and it's just been a great ride to be on. Oh my goodness! I look so little! I remember doing my pop-up challenge. I would say that I'm nervous for them and like excited for them because it's it's super fun, but it is kind of scary. Addy, cheers to another season. 
This is so cool. I won the Golden Apron, and now I get to meet all the winners and past people on MasterChef Junior. Like, it can't get any better than this. And then... Oh! <laughs> Good job. Come on, Red Team, Blue Team. We're doing one table at a time, yes? Yes, Chef. And the first table is a six top, OK? Yes, yes chef. chef. Three from the red, three from the blue. Let's go, Red Team. we got to move it. Guys, final team challenge, the classic MasterChef pop-up restaurant. It's a tough one today. It is a tough one. They're going to raise their game. I mean, they're not just cooking for adults. They're cooking for their heroes. And that's why we picked the captains today for this challenge. Blue Team captain is Olivia. We haven't seen her step up and become that assertive leader. No, start that first, OK, Brinzio? No. Three minutes. Start it first. Can she control her 12-year-old sister, who's two years older than she is? She's going to have to, Joe. No, 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 no. Now, on the red team, yep. we chose Kwani for a similar reason, right? Kwani's actually really been turning a corner for us, but we're still waiting to see his breakout moment, especially yeah. as a leader on a team. Guys, I'm plumbing. Oh, yeah, Kwani. OK, guys, my brand Zeno is on. Right now, Olivia, you need to start your um, Remy, muscle. stop right there. Olivia. Yes, Chef. If you're going to be the team captain, you got to be the one taking yes, the lead. OK, guys, did you add your shallots? Right, yes. add a lot, a little bit more. OK, that's good, perfect. Close that and member live. Remy, oh. let your sister take the lead. I love you. I know that you're a bossy older sister. I have a bossy yeah. older sister. But it's Olivia's time to take up and take the lead. Okay. Let's go. Okay. You guys got this. Just get everything perfect. Kwani is doing an excellent job as team captain right now because he's vocal, which I was a little worried about at first. How are you doing back there, guys? I'm being my first fish shop, guys. This blind is almost done. OK, that's what I want to hear. Our team is focused. We're communicating with each other. Clams, put the clams on. Polenta, guys, I'm putting the polenta on. Nice, guys. I think our team is getting off to a strong start, and I think that we're going to be able to pull this off. Christina, we're plating the top table. How long for you, please? Olivia! Um, 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 we're just getting our, um... No, Remy, your name is not Olivia or Christina. Olivia, how, how long? You... Um, uh, two minutes. Two minutes, Chef. Oh, dear. Olivia, two minutes is too long. Come on. Guys, start on plating. Guys, go to plating. Service, please, pick up. First Service, table. Please. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job, guys. Muscles are almost done. I thought you said the muscles were already done. Um, right here, they're done. No, they're not done. Come on, Olivia. This is totally embarrassing. We didn't even serve the first table, and our team is already all over the place. All right, guys, it's time to eat. Oh, oh. They, they don't have we're their still food. Waiting. We got what? You got three red plates, but we got, we got no blue plates. plates. Yeah, no blue. What's up with that? I don't, I don't know. know. This is kind of a disaster, and I'm not really sure what to say. Where's my fennel, Evan? The f oh, the fennel. Yeah. Guy, blue team, you can't fall apart. Olivia, Hi. you gotta keep a watch out for your team. Uh. Olivia. Olivia. Look at me. Make eye contact. Olivia, oh. you can do this. Olivia, come on. You can take charge for this. Olivia. <laughs> Olivia, Olivia, look at me. Make eye contact. Olivia, you can do this. Olivia, come on. You can take charge for this. Olivia. <laughs> Remy, take over. OK, Olivia, I'll get the lens cake. You can do this, Liv. <laughs> What's wrong? It's OK. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Come here, come here, come here. It's OK. What's wrong? I'm not scared. I'm OK. No. Hey, it's not meant to be easy. It's a high-pressure situation. The first time I was in your shoes, so I was much older than you, I was twice your age, and this is exactly how I felt. Everything's fine. We're going to do this, OK? Get in there. There you go. Recover, Mama. If I want to lead my team to victory and go to the semifinals, we only need um 30 seconds on the blend. Got it, guys? Yes, Olivia. Okay. I love that voice. Let's go. Walking polenta, walking polenta. I need to step it up, and I need to show the judges what I'm made of. OK, go. Come on, come on, come on. Looking good. This is the moment we turn it around, yeah? OK, let's do this. Come on, guys. Serve it, please. Good job. The winning table, please.
All right, guys, you, you enjoying that Branzino dish? Mm -hmm. Red team, blue team, any notes? I think the blue team is doing a really good job. Um, the fish is nice and crispy. The polenta is super creamy. Uh, for the red team's dish, uh, it's the fish is seasoned and cooked perfectly. Spectacular, but yes. The, um, the polenta seems a bit under-seasoned. It is. It doesn't really have a flavor. Uh-oh. The polenta will take about Be a more careful with those. Yes, I know. Like, way more careful, Kwani. I know, I know. Come on, Kwani. It's all wonky jonky. Yeah. Kwani is struggling badly with the polenta right now. Come on with the polenta, Kwani. Come on, Kwani. Kwani. I'm just getting a little bit more color on it. Oh, man. They're breaking. Some piece fall out and get stuck to the bottom. Our food's getting cold, and I'm like, Kwani. Kwani, this polenta's yeah. not very good. Oh, chef. You know it's not. Kwan, are you OK? Yes, chef. I'm really mad because I'm supposed to be the team captain, but I'm the one messing up the polenta. I think the red team really nailed the bronzino, although the polenta cakes are not no. as good as I would like them to be. I'd like mine to be a little bit crispier. This polenta looks like dog poop. Team, last table, let's make it count. Yes, yes. No, we're nothing, guys. That's Come on. Right. Come on. I'm eating the blue team's food, and I love the fish. I mean, it's cooked perfectly. I really like the polenta. I think it's nice and crispy. We want five perfect plates, yeah? We go out strong. Yes, chef. Let's go. Yes. So you guys are tasting the Bronzino from the blue team. Abby, what do you think? It tastes good. It but tastes good. It's cold. It's cold. It's freezing cold. The fish is, is dry and it's really salty on the top. So you guys are feeling like the blue team maybe let you down a little bit, huh? Put the herbs on! Come on, guys! Guys, there's... Where's the... There's her it's all here! Her oil, Kwani! Get the oil on. It's like you've all gone to sleep. The red team's Branzino skin is super crispy, and it's also wealthy. I like it. Come on, finish strong, please. Let's go. Service, please, pick up. I'm eating the red team's dish. I think that the fish is cooked nicely. We could use a little more seasoning. Service, please! Good job. Table two, please. please. Last and final table. Go. Last table, please. Table three. Well done. As that last plate goes out, I'm feeling pretty nervous. We had some rough patches with that polenta, and right now it could be anyone's game. Good to see you guys. You good? Boom, 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 boom. 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 Uh, first of all, thank you so much for being here today and being part of this incredible MasterChef Junior get-together. And I know that all of you have been a huge inspiration to all the home cooks who cooked for you this afternoon. So, you guys ready to meet them? Yes, Chef! All right, please welcome the red team and the blue team. This is so epic. Dora, Avery, Abby, Addison. I'm really hoping that the blue team and I made the Mashup Junior Pass alumni proud today. Now, yes, home cooks, as you all know, this is a very tough competition. And there can only be one winning team this afternoon. We talked to all of our special guests. We tasted all of the delicious food. And we saw how you work together as teams. And we decided that the winning team is to be determined. Oh, you really? With the MasterChef semi-finale at stake, we just can't make the decision here. We need to sleep on oh, it. Oh, shucks. So say goodbye to our guests, and we'll see you in the MasterChef kitchen. Thank you. Are you kidding me? We're just dying to know who is safe, who is going home. Great job, guys. Thank you. That's great. I'm like freaking out. Bye. Bye. Welcome back, guys. Come on down. 
yesterday, we cooked for the harshest critics I've ever seen. Line up in the front, thank you. The blue team were running behind a lot, but I think my messing up on the polenta could cost us to not get into the semifinals. Stand up straight, guys. Now, yesterday, you all took on your toughest team challenge yet. It was a very tight, narrow margin. The team that is heading up to the balcony into the semi-final of the biggest cooking competition anywhere in the world. Congratulations. Red team. Benny, Avery, Kwani, you were just a touch more consistent than the blue team. Head up to the balcony. Oh you three now have a pressure test to face, after which not one, but two of you will be heading home. Oh my God. I feel terrible. Olivia is my sister and best friend for life. Tonight is basically the first night we're really competing against each other. You're gonna need one of these. Black aprons. This is the toughest spot I've been in because even if I win tonight, I break Olivia's heart. I'm gonna die. No matter what happens, we lose. Are you ready to find out what you'll have to make tonight to earn a spot in the MasterChef Junior semifinal? Yes, Joe! Well, we're not going to tell you. What? Someone else's. <gasps> Please welcome. What is happening? Oh, my God. Jenny! Jenny! Our reigning champion, oh MasterChef God. Junior, Jasmine. Good to see you. Up. Oh, man. Uh, young lady, Jasmine, as always, it's so lovely to have you back here inside the MasterChef Junior kitchen. Give us a little insight of what you've been up to in the last 12 months been really amazing. So I've had the opportunity to contribute to the MasterChef Junior Cookbook. I've been able to cook for some awesome VIPs. I've been able to go on a few TV shows and talk about my experience on MasterChef. So it's just been really amazing. Amazing. Wow, she's so pretty. All right, Jasmine, so how'd you come up with this challenge? Well, this dish that you guys will be making tonight is definitely one of my favorite dishes of all. I've made it in the MasterChef Junior Kitchen, and it's actually featured in the MasterChef Junior Cookbook. Now, give us a little more insight into the MasterChef Junior Cookbook. The MasterChef Junior Cookbook is full of over 100 recipes that kids that cooked in the MasterChef Junior Kitchen made. I have two recipes in the cookbook that are actually from the finale that I made. So I have my West Indian Spiced Curry Lobster. Oh my god. Yes, please. And then I also have my um, Pineapple Upside Down Cake. Those two dishes <laughs> won you that title, young lady. Yes. But you three in front of me won't be making curry or pineapple upside down cake. Mm. But you will be making. It's a sweet treat that Jasmine and I both love to make. Mm. It's one tough cookie. Huh? A box? What? Can only be. Oh gosh. The exquisite Parisian delicacy. Macaroons. Oh. Delicate almond flour cookies, and between them, stunning melt in your mouth filling. These little treats all will stand between you and a spot in the semifinal. It's time to head to your stations. You got this, guys. Got this, guys. On your stations, you have the basics to make your macaroons. In the equipment room, you have everything you need to customize your macaroons and put your personality in that box. Right, are we ready? Yes. Yes, 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 Chef! You know what's at stake. Your 75 minutes start now. Let's go. Come on, guys. You guys got this, guys. You guys got this. Now, this is a tough one. It is. To be quite frank, guys, the odds are in no one's favor tonight. <sighs> Either Evan sends both sisters home, or for the first time, we see Remy and Olivia divided. Looking good, Lev. Let's do this. So, Christina, macaroons, where do you start? You've got to make those little almond flour cookies first and foremost. Egg whites whipped up with cream of tartar. You color that egg white mixture. And a little bit of cake. And then you very gently fold in your sifted almond flour and confectioner sugar. You pipe them evenly, let them sit out so they form a beautiful skin, and you bake them in the oven at 325. 
The best thing to do is just make sure that you get it all done early. So that way, if you do have an issue, you can start over, fix it, and get yeah. right with it. Absolutely. Whew, this is exhausting. Nice sifting, Remy. You talented three, 60 minutes remaining. Gotta get it in. All right, Olivia. Hello. So, macaroons, how much experience do you have? I have a lot of experience with macaroons because I go to a lot of French pastry places and I make them a lot at home. And what kind of macaroons do you make? Raspberry lemon macaroons. So what's the biggest tip that you have for making macaroons? That's the um, best I think I need to make sure that my egg whites are fluffy. With macaroons, you have to make everything really perfect. Olivia, where is your mind at knowing you could go home, Remy could go home? I want to make it to the semifinals, but if I couldn't make it to the semifinals, I would want my sister to make it there. That's a good sister bond. Keep your eye on that clock. You know that those macaroons need to be piped out beautifully mm -hmm. and form that skin before yes, you can yes. actually put them in the oven. I know mm -hmm. you can do this. Thank you. Focus, guys, focus. Looking great, Evan. Evan, how are we feeling? Great, Chef. Describe your macaroons. It's going to be a banana caramel dulce de leche. Good. That sounds amazing. Yes. I got my white apron from a Latin dish, so I want to show my Latin flavors again. That's the... Hmm. Do you put the cream of tartare in? Yeah. Good point. So How focus. Does it taste? It tastes good. Thank you. But make sure there's no lumps in there. Yes. Get your best out. Yes, chef. Almost like a beauty parade, right? Yes, chef. Good luck. Thank you. Well done. Evan, I am seriously impressed. Those look amazing. Thank you. All right, Remy. Hello. What are your macaroon flavors? So I'm making green tea matcha buttercream and then a strawberry coulis for the center. It almost seems like you're going a little bit Asian inspired. Is that kind yes, of like yes. your style of cooking? I'm really inspired by Asian desserts. So I want to incorporate Asian flavors into this French macaroon. Now, Remy, only one of you is making it into the semifinal. What if Evan's macaroons steal our hearts? That is not going to happen. Strong lady, huh? Girl power. <laughs> Remy, right. good luck. Thank you. Guys, just over 40 minutes to go. One spot up for grabs. Make sure it's you. Now, the pressure is on to get that batter piped and then let it form a skin. Oven open. You got this, guys. Don't stop. You got this, guys. Home cooks. <laughs> Let's go. Get those macaroons piped. They've got to go in the oven. Oh my gosh, I'm not. What is she doing? Oh, yeah. oh, there's not enough. She doesn't have enough in there, does she? Come on, guys. There's not <laughs> Olivia, it's OK. Come on, there's don't melt down. Enough. Take some from your batter, Liz. There's not <laughs> Listen, Olivia, re-whip your egg yolks, OK? No, Olivia. Oh, my god. Olivia's in the tailspin. <laughs> Oh, there's one now. She doesn't have enough in there, does she? Come on, guys. Not... Olivia, it's okay. Come on, there's don't melt down. Take some from your batter, Liz. Olivia's in a tailspin. There's not. <laughs> there's not enough. Okay, 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 okay. But look, look. Hey. Come here. Come here, come here. Get the mixture out again, and we'll make some more, OK? She's got to remake it. Yeah. We've still got time, you know that. We're going to do this, OK? Mm-hmm. She's redoing her whole thing. Good girl. Come on, Liv, you can do it. Put your tacos in? I already put it in. You put it in. Good girl. There we go. It's time again. Great job, Olivia. Almost there. Her batter looks perfect. We've still got this, OK? Look at the time up there. Look, look. We're back on track now. Come on. Good girl. Come on, you can do this. Let's go. Hurry, guys! Come on, Remy, you got this. Now, 15, 20 minutes to bake, then they have to cool. But while the baking is happening, while the cooling is happening, that's when you put your spin on it. Is that rum? Oh, yeah. That's when you start yeah. to think about those fillings. You know, the sky's the limit in terms of the personality that goes into the center of that macaroon. Come on, Olivia. You're about where we are. They look perfectly whipped. But it's got to be delicious, and it's got to be show-stopping. Yeah. Yes! Evan is really stepping it up tonight. Now that is a flambe. <laughs> oh, yeah. 20 minutes to go. One spot up for grabs in the semifinal. Wow, Remy. I am impressed. Nice, Evan. Beautiful. Wow. Color. Now check on your macaroons. They're looking really good. Make sure you have enough time to let them sit. I will. Olivia's really got the borderline. Like, she might not make it. I feel if she just keeps that determined spirit, I think she's going to be able to pull it out. Yeah. Six minutes left, guys. 
now the complexity is coming together. They have to yep. assemble the macaroon, the buttercream, the crispy cookies. Each yes. one has to be exactly Stunning. the same as the other one. Try consistency. Perfect. There you go, Evan. That's 12. How are they, Remy? <laughs> They're a little flat. There's an issue with Remy's. Some of the macaroon is sticking. If she undercooked the whole lot of them, she could be in real trouble right now. Two minutes to go. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Go. And for two of you, your last time cooking in this kitchen. You got to start piping. You got this, guys. Come, Come on. on, guys. You got it. You got it. This is where it counts. You can see the hands slightly starting to shake a little bit now. 30 seconds to go. Hurry, Remy. Come on, guys. Come on. You got this, Evan. Make sure you put the best of the very best inside that box. Very gently. Do not crush them. Ten. Nine. nine. Eight, seven, seven, six, five, six, four, three, two, one. And stop. And yes. Well done. Oof. Well, now it's time to find out which one of you talented three deserves a place in the semi-final. But before we do, join me in thanking our current Masterchef Junior champion, Jasmine. Thank you. Ooh. My favorite winners. Bye, Jasmine! She has been through exactly what I'm going through now and always bounced back. I'm touching victory. <laughs> Macaroons are what catapulted Jasmine to the finale, so I hope I have the same fate as her. Bye. Bye, Jasmine! Woo! Great job. Now, back to business. Please bring your boxes up to the front. Very carefully. Come on, Bye, guys. guys. Oh, Evan, my big question to you is, do you strongly believe the contents inside that box are good enough to get you a spot into the semi-final? Yes, Chef. Good. Let's find out. Wow. Describe the flavor. I have caramelized banana dulce de leche French macaroons with a flambe buttercream. You flambe the buttercream. And that's the first for me. Love that idea. Now, let's get in there, shall we? Crunch on the outside. So there's two fillings in there. Um, one is the banana flambe, and mm. then the other one is just dulce de leche in the inside. Wow. Now, the flavor inside You've got absolutely spot on. You've got that nice, creamy marshmallow texture. It's crisp on the outside. But here's the bit that's not good. These things need to be smooth. I wish you'd sift your ingredients twice. Smooth, perfect. Yeah, your macaroons look like me. <laughs> and the perfect macaroon should be like your cheeks here. Nice and smooth. <laughs> it's a strong effort. They taste good. I just want a smoother complexion on the outside. All right. Bloody good job. Thank you. Good job, Evan. Miss Remy, now, there's one thing I know that you are in this kitchen more than anything else. It's a true technician. So I'm looking for the details of these macarons to be absolutely spot on. Let's see how you did. Beautiful. Pretty impressive. What kind of macarons did you make tonight? Tonight I made for you green tea macarons with a green tea matcha buttercream and a strawberry coolie. Visually, there is a lovely consistency. I'd say these are two of the more perfect macarons, but I can see ones that have sort of lost that footing there, which is the base of the macaroon. Now, let's see what we've got. Filling-wise, looks like you have a beautiful ratio. I can see that green tea buttercream and strawberry puree in the center. Listen, Remy, some of the macaroons should have been in the oven for another minute and a half to get the technique of the bottom foot. The reality is, your macaroon is incredibly delicious. It's unique in flavor, it's unique in its approach. That green tea matcha can be incredibly overpowering. 
but you have used it with a steady hand, knowing that it can be overpowering and balancing it with that sweet acidity of that strawberry puree. I am impressed. Nice job. Thank you, Chef. Good job, Remy. Great job, Remy. Good job, Remy. Good job, Remy. Good job, Remy. What is that? Is it a relief to see me? Yes. Am I like friendly fire for you just because we're like no. both New Yorkers? I tell you what, that comeback for a 10 year old was quite impressive. That shows a lot of character. Thank you. All right, let's see what we have in this fantastic box. You ready? Mm-hmm. Ooh, they have a very nice color to them. Tell me about the flavor profile. Where were you going? raspberry macaroon with raspberry cooling and lemon zest buttercream. So aesthetically, this roughness on the outside, it's not perfect, right? Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't want the points on it either. They look like little flying saucers. But quite frankly, it's about the crunch and the ooh, the crack and ah. You want that contrast of flavors. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be able to hear the crunch? Yes. Are you ready? The flavor is very delicate, subtle. Subtle can be a good thing. When something's too subtle, sometimes it can be a bad thing. Is it too subtle? I'm trying to decide. Flavor is very delicate, subtle. Subtle can be a good thing. When something's too subtle, sometimes it can be a bad thing. Is it too subtle? I'm trying to decide. I tell you what, your coulis is nice and tart, not too sweet. Cream is rich but complex. They're very subtle. They have a couple of issues in their aesthetic, but I like it. A lot of finesse, Olivia. Thank you. Really good, young lady. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Olivia. Oh my god. How are they gonna design this? Well done, all three of you. Please, come around to the front, thank you. Great job, everyone. I'm sorry, sisters. I'm gonna have to send both of you home because I'm gonna be in the semifinals. Holy my. Sorry, not my fault. You all impressed us very much tonight and you should all be very, very proud of yourselves. Sadly, as you know, this is a competition. There's only one place in the balcony in the semifinal, which means two of you will be leaving. Please, please, please. Please. Step forward. Oh my God. Please, 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 please. Evan. Oh my God. Evan, you did impress us tonight. Don't say a But. Your macaroons. Unfortunately, this is the end of the road for you. Evan, you've been an incredible example to everyone in this kitchen. You continue to push yourself and raise the bar. Thank you. Evan, there's something inside you that really connects beautifully with food, and you can't buy that. I hope you continue cooking. I will. You've been amazing. I'm really sad that I'm going home, but I will never forget this experience. Take care, bud. You are amazing. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. Amazing job, Evan. You know what they say in Costa Rica? Pura vida. That means good life. Bye, Evan. We'll never Bye, forget Evan. you. Never stop cooking, Bye. Evan. Bye, Evan. I won't. I had a great life in the Master Chef Genia Kitchen.
Oh, dear. Remy and Olivia, let me tell you something, ladies. I have three young daughters. I look at you two and it reminds me every time. They are incredibly close. And you two have exemplified the importance of sisters. You've been so supportive. Both of you are a credit to your families and to each other. But this is a competition. And so this is the moment that Joe, Christine and I have been dreading. Please. I'm gonna get this over and done with quickly because this is not pleasant for any of us. The sister who is going through to the MasterChef Junior semi-final. Please. Please. Congratulations goes to Remy. Oh my god. You are in the semi-final of MasterChef. Remy is in. Olivia is out. <laughs> Olivia. You've been incredible. Remy's macaroons just had the edge. They had those beautiful, flat, fluffy tops. And she just put a little bit more into that flavor combination. I'm sorry, Olivia. The greatest thing I saw tonight, quite frankly, wasn't a macaroon. Olivia, your comeback in that moment showed incredible strength of character. And if we could give the prize for courage and tenacity, Olivia, you won that hands down. Olivia, we're going to miss you here. You know that. Come over here and say goodbye. Oh, dear. Really proud of myself because I think that I grew as a chef and as a person. I learned about working together as a team. I learned about leadership and I've learned about never giving up. You come to me, you are. I think that MasterChef is all about mastering cooking, but I think it's also mastering your whole entire life. Safe trip back. I'll see you in New York. I'm sad to be leaving this competition, but I'm also sad to be leaving my sister. Remy, please walk little sis to the door. Good job. We're best friends. We share a bedroom with each other. We share clothes with each other. We share bows with each other. I love her so much. So I really want Remy to win for New York. I love you. And for me. Next time. Oh it's a culinary challenge. Why? What are you looking at? For the ages. Hello, dears. Ooh, look at Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> As the top five compete for a spot in the finale, only the best will rise. Pretty perfect. It's what you do best. You show off. And earn their chance of winning $100,000. This is crazy. And the title of America's next MasterChef Junior. One potato, two potato.